Ladies and gentlemen, today I will start by telling you a story about a banana. Once I had a banana and it looked exactly like this one, which is not very surprising because most bananas look the same. So one fine day I bought a banana with great plans for a stomach satiating purpose. But when I cast my gaze upon the poor sort, my conscience turned into a nagging itch and there was no longer a desire to consume the fruit. Essentially, I didn't feel like eating it anymore. And the first thing, and the next thing I did was, I took a string, I took some string, I tied it around the banana, and I hung it above my bed. So, yes, essentially, there was a hanging banana above my bed. Now, not everyone has a hanging banana above their bed. When, and when people, you know, they notice this banana, they get interested, they get jealous. And whenever they come to my room, they'll be like, what's that yellow thing you have above your bed? And, you know, I'll just be sitting on my bed here, and I'll be like, oh, oh, that thing? Ah, it's room decoration. So there's actually nothing wrong with hanging a banana above your bed, you realize. Well, I mean, what foreseeable harm is there to hanging a banana above your bed? Just because nobody does it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It was going to take more than just a few weird stairs to convince me otherwise about hanging a banana. And I got my wish two days later. Two days later, two long days later, when I came back to the room, everything was fine. But something wasn't quite right. Something didn't quite smell right. I looked closely at the banana, and it was dripping, dripping. And there was this huge wet patch on my bed. So, uh, yes, that ends the story. So, why am I telling you this story? You see, the banana represents an idea. And hanging a banana is a crazy idea. When you have an idea, you'll do one of three things. You can either leave it aside and forget about it, you can throw it out the window, or you can choose to do something about it. And this is in a descending order. Most people, they don't act on their ideas. They see an idea, they're like, okay, maybe, no, I, I can't do this, or this is not feasible. This is, this is absolute rubbish, and they just throw it out the window. And many great ideas are lost like that. Great ideas, they are rare species. When you throw it out the window, someone's gonna pick it up and, bye, you know, you're never gonna get it back. And what I'm trying to tell of this story is that don't hang up your ideas. If you leave them, you'll forget about them, and they'll rot away. I hung a banana above my bed, and I had no idea it was gonna explode, but explode it did, and I spent two hours cleaning. It was not a good experience, but the outcome is not what we are concerned with. If you too were faced with a similar experience of an unexpected exploding banana, what can you learn from it? I think the most, the most obvious answer is, don't hang a banana above your bed. When I asked another group of people the same question, and there were some more creative answers, and um, most of them, well, one of them, what it went was uh, something like this. Why don't, you, why don't you instead hang the banana a little bit to the left of your bed, you know, and put the dustbin underneath it to catch the drips so that it wouldn't get on your bed? And this one's even better. Why don't you hang the banana outside your door instead? So you can still have the decorative appeal. And you won't dirty your place so much. And I love these people.